Good morning, guys. This is View from the Pastor Study. It is Monday morning, July 5th, 2021. We're looking at Luke's commands of Christ today. And as we look at it today, I guess the title of this command would be Change Your Mindset. Change Your Mindset About Blessing. Change Your Mindset About Blessing and Cursing. Both of those. What is a blessing in life? What is a curse in life? Change your perspective on life, because if you ask somebody, are they blessed? Well, if they're not a Christian, you can get many different responses. They may say they are because of the physical things they have, or because they live in the United States of America, or because all their children are healthy and safe, and that may be their definition of blessing, and certainly those are nice things. But I want to challenge your thinking about blessing from a Christian point of view with Jesus' words, and it's the idea of not just blessing, but rejoicing in real spiritual blessing. And Jesus is taking the whole concept of what is blessing and cursing, and he's flipping it. So I want to read to you from uh, Luke 6, 20, and let's go ahead and look at the curses, the blessings and the curses, uh, the blessings and the woes. And there's four blessings that Luke mentions and four woes, if I'm correct, and there's rejoicing in the middle. And so rejoicing is a part of this command as well. What gives you joy? Is it that your life is a blessing according to God's standard, or is it because your life is a blessing according to the world's standard? What gives you joy? So listen to what it says. Then he lifted up, Jesus lifted up his eyes toward his disciples and said, Blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who hunger now, for you shall be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you, and when they exclude you and revile you and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. There's a very clear command there. For indeed your reward is great in heaven, and in like manner their fathers did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation, you have your reward. Woe to you who are full, for you shall hunger. Woe to you who laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. Woe to you when all men woe to you when all men speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the prophets. Four blessings, four woes, and the right mindset in the middle, which is rejoicing, changing our perspective on life. What gives you joy? Is it the world's blessings? Is it being rich and full and laughing now and men every, being popular with everybody? Is that what gives you joy? Or can you find joy, real joy, in being poor and hungry and men hating you because of Jesus and weeping? Because Jesus has come to change our mindset. I can't say specifically that he's saying, go off, sell everything, give to the poor, and be poor, and follow me, and live like a monk, and all that. But I can tell you this, you need to change your mindset. Be blessed. Realize how blessed you are if you suffer in this life for the cause of Christ, that you may rejoice in the life to come. So I don't know how life is treating you today, but if you're following Jesus, don't worry about it. Because whether you're poor or hungry or you're mourning or you're hated, if you're living life for Jesus, there will be a day of rejoicing. And go ahead and let that day be today. I remember there's a passage over in Acts where it says, they rejoiced that they could suffer for the cause of Christ. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not there. But I need to be. Whether I want to be or not, I need to be. I need to get to that point because that's one of the things the Lord commands me to do. So I pray you'll think on these things today. You know, we are blessed in many ways, but let's look at blessing from God's perspective and cursing as well. And let's see what it does to our mindset and our joy. So God bless you, and you have a great Monday.